The Adventure of Mouse Deer, the favorite folktale of Southeast Asia, told by Aaron Shepard. Mouse Deer and Tiger I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and try, but you can't catch me. Mouse Deer sang his song as well to the forest. He was looking for a tasty fruit roots and shoot. Though he was small, he was not afraid. He knew that many big animals wanted to eat him. But first, they had to catch him. Then he heard something. Roar! Roar! There was tiger. Hello, mouse deer. I was just getting hungry. Now, you can be my lunch? Mouse deer didn't want to be lunch. He looked around and thought fast. He saw a mud puddle. I'm sorry, tiger. I can't be your lunch. The king has ordered me to guard his body. His body? said tiger. Yes, there it is. Mouse deer pointed the mud puddle. It has the best taste in the world. The king doesn't want anyone else to eat it. Tiger looked longingly at the puddle. I would like to taste the king puddle. Oh no, Tiger. The king would be very angry. Just one little taste, Mouse Deer. The king will never know. Well, alright, Tiger. But first, let me run away so no one will blame me. Alright, Mouse Deer. You can go now. Mouse deer ran quickly out of the side. Imagine, said Tiger. The king's body he looked a big mouth full. Spit up. Yuck. Blood. That was no funny. That's mad. Tiger ran through the park. Rawr. He caught up with the mouse deer. Mouse deer, you tricked me once, but now you will be my lunch. Mouse deer looked around and thought fast. He saw a wasp's nest in the tree. I'm sorry, tiger. I can't be your lunch. The king ordered me to guard his drum. His drum? said tiger. Yes, there it is. Mouse deer pointed a wasp's nest. It is the best sound in the world. The king doesn't want anyone else to hit it. Tiger said, I would like to hit it. The king's drum. Oh no, Tiger. The, the king would be very angry. Just one little hit. Mouse deer, the king will never know. Alright, Tiger. But first, let me run far away so no one will blame me. Alright. Mouse deer, you can go now. Mouse deer ran quickly out of sight. Imagine, said Tiger, the king's drum. He reached up and hit it. Oh, bzzz. The wops all flew out. Then that started sting the tiger. Ouch, ouch. That's no drum. There, that's a wops nest. Tiger ran away, but the wops only followed him. Bzzz, ouch, ouch. Tiger came to a stream. He jumped in and stayed underwater as long as he could. At last, the wops went away. The tiger jumped out, Rawr! ran through the forest till he found the mouse deer. Mouse deer, you tricked me once. You tricked me twice, but now you will be my lunch. Mouse deer looked around and thought fast. He saw a cobra, the giant snake, coiled asleep on the ground. I'm sorry, tiger. I can be your lunch. The king was ordered me to guard his belt. His belt? said tiger. Yes, there it is. It. The mouse deer pointed the cobra. 
it is the best belt in the world. The king doesn't want anyone else to wear it, Tiger said. I would like to wear the king's belt. Oh no, Tiger. The king would be very angry. Just for a moment, Mouse dear, the king will never know. Well, alright, Tiger. But first, let me run far away so no one will blame me. Alright, Mouse dear, you can go now. Mouse dear, run quickly out of sight. Imagine, the tiger said tiger. The king's belt he started to wrap it around himself. The cobra woke up. Zzz. It didn't wait for the tiger to finish wrapping. It wrapped itself. Oh, oh yo, that's no belt. That's a cobra. Help, mouse deer, help. But mouse deer was far away. And as he went, he sang his song. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and chat, but you can't catch me. Mouse deer and crocodile. One day, mouse deer went down to the river. He wanted to take a drink, but he knew crocodile might be waiting under water to eat him. Mouse deer had an idea. He said out loud, I wonder if the water is warm. I put in my legs, find out. But Mouse Deer didn't put in his leg. Instead, he picked a stick with his mouth and put in one and chomp! Crocodile grabbed the stick and pulled it under water. Mouse Deer laughed. Silly crocodile, don't you know a stick from leg? And he ran off a drink somewhere else. Another day, Mouse Deer went back to the river. All he saw, there was a floating log, but he knew Crocodile looked alive when he floated. Mouse Deer had an idea. He said out loud, if that log is really Crocodile, it won't talk, but if it's really just a log, it will tell me. He listened. A rock boy said, I'm really toss along. Mouse Deer laughed. <laughs> Silly, do you think a lad can talk? And off he ran again. Another one day, Mouse Deer wanted to cross the river. He wanted to taste fruits and roots and shoots on the other side. But he didn't want the crocodile to eat him first. Mouse Deer had an idea. He called up crocodile. Crocodile rose up from the water. Hello, Mouse Deer. Have you come to be my breakfast? Not today, Crocodile. I have an order from the king. He wants me to count all crocodiles. The king said, Crocodile, tell us what to do. You must line up from the, this side of the river to the other side. Crocodile got all his friends and family. They line up across the river. Mouse Deer jumped onto the crocodile back. One, he jumped onto the next crocodile. Two, and the next three. Mouse Deer kept jumping till he jumped off on the other side of the river. How many are there? called crocodile. Just enough, said Mouse Deer. And all silly. <laughs> then he went off singing his song. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and chat, but you can't catch me. Mouse Deer and Farmer Mouse Deer loved to eat fruits and roots and shoots of the forest, but he loved something else even more. He loved the vegetables in the farmer's garden. One day, Mouse Deer went to the edge of the forest. He looked out at a row of after row vegetables. Mmm, said Mouse Deer. Juicy cucumber, yummy yums. He started into the garden. Snap, oh! His legs caught in the snare. Mouse Deer pulled and pulled, but he could not get away. Oh no! 
he said, Farmer will never will help me for dinner. Then he saw a farmer coming. Mouser thought fast. He lay on the ground and made his body stiff. Well, well, said the farmer. Look what I caught. A mouser, but he looked snap. Farmer pushed him with his foot. Mouse deer didn't move. Maybe he's been dead a long time, said the farmer. Too bad. I guess we can eat him. He pulled Mouse deer leg out of the spear. Then he tossed Mouse deer back into a forest. Mouse deer landed with a soft plop. Then he jumped up and ran. Behind him, he heard some farmer yell, Hey, you tricked me! Mouse deer laughed. Farmer is smart, but Mouse Deer is smarter. A few days passed. Mouse Deer kept thinking about all those vegetables. One day, he went back to the edge of the forest. Hmm, said Mouse Deer. Thick guard, scrub shoes, sweet potatoes. Then he saw something new. It looked a man, but its head was a coconut, and its body was rubber. A screw scrub, a screw scrub? said Mouse Deer. That silly farmer. Does he think he can scare me with that? I'll show him how scared I am. Mouse Deer marched up to the scarecrow. Take this, he gave a big kick, but his leg stuck on the scarecrow. The scarecrow was covered with sticky sap from the rubber tree. Let me go, said Mouse Deer. He pulled and he pulled. Then he pushed with his other front leg. That leg sucked through. Turned loose, he pulled and he pulled. Then he pushed with his two back legs. Then they sucked through. Put me down! He pulled and he pushed and he pulled and he pushed. But Mouse Deer was trapped. Then he saw a farmer. Mouse Deer thought fast, but he didn't have any ideas. Well, well, said the farmer. How nice of you to come back. He pulled Mouse Deer up the scarecrow and carried him to the house. He put him outside in the empty kitchen cup. I'll keep you here tonight, said the farmer. And tomorrow, you will be our dinner. All that night, Mouse Deer couldn't sleep. He didn't want to be dinner. When his son rose, Mouse deer just lay there suddenly. Then he heard something. Why it's mouse deer so farmer caught you at last? It serves you right. It was a farmer's dog. Mouse deer thought fast. What do you mean dog? Farmer didn't catch me. Then why are you in the cop? Said dog. Because this aren't enough beds into house. You see, Farmer is holding a piece tomorrow, and I'm guest of honor. Guest of honor? Said Dog. That's not fair. I've been his loyal friend for years, and you're just thief. The guest of honor should be me, you know. Dog, you're right. Why don't you take my place? When Farmer see you in here, he'll make you the guest of honor instead. Really? Said Dog. You don't mind? Not at all, said Mouse Deer. You deserve it, Mouse Deer. You're not so bad after all. Thank you. Dog lifted the catch, latch, and opened the door. You're welcome, Dog. Enjoy the feast. Mouse Deer ran from the forest. Then he watched from the forest edge. He saw Farmer come out and stare at them. Then he heard Farmer yell, You, Dog. He let the mouse deer get away. Mouse deer <laughs> laughed. Farmer, farmer will know, will have to find the dinner, different dinner to now. Then he went off singing his song. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and try, if, but you can catch me.